Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to walk you through how you can change the units of barometric pressure that are being displayed on your Garmin Forerunner 955 watch. Now there's multiple ways you can do this and it's very similar to some other watches out there like the Phoenix or the Instinct. First and foremost, the quickest way to do this with the Forerunner 955 is you can get on your cell phone and do it with the Garmin Connect app. The nice thing about the 955 is most of your settings can be done through the app on your phone and then you simply sync the information and it will update your watch. And if you haven't used it yet, the buttons on the 955 are the same as what's on the Phoenix 7 and they are not very good. So luckily you can do most of the settings through the app and not have to mess with touching the buttons. Um, the other thing I'll say that's a little bit tricky with this is depending on the watch face that you're using, some of these changes might not take place. So if we look at my current watch face, you can see that my barometric pressure is being shown in inches of mercury. If I press the up button, I can go to my barometer uh, view. And if I go into my view, you'll see it's being displayed in inches of mercury as well. Depending on the watch face, some watch faces will only use certain levels of barometric pressure units. So that's what gets a little bit confusing with this. It kind of depends on the developer of the watch face. What we're going to be adjusting in this video will be the units that the Garmin delivered values will be updating. So I'm going to show you that. Enough talking about it. There's a few different ways we can do it. We're going to be starting by going through the main settings to make this change. We're going to press and hold the middle button on the left hand side. That'll take us into our menu. Once we're in the menu, we can either use the up or down buttons. We're gonna go up to system. We're gonna press the upper right button to select system. And then again, under the system settings, we can use up or down. We're gonna go down to format. Once we're on format, we're gonna press the upper right button to select our format. The very first thing you should see under format is units. Again, I'm gonna press the upper right button to select units. And then under units, I can either use the up or down button, and we're going to go to pressure. Again, mine is being displayed in inches of mercury. If I want to change that, I can simply select it by pressing the upper right button, and I can change it to whatever I want to. Now, in my example, I'm going to change it to hectopascals. So I've set it the way I want to. At this point, I can either press the back button several times to go back. Back will always take you back a previous page, or you can press and hold the middle button and it will take you back to your watch face. Now when I get back to my watch face, I say, look, I don't understand what's going on. I just changed my barometric pressure units, but it's still being displayed in inches of mercury. But that is because the developer of this watch face only uses inches of mercury. However, if I go to my barometer view, because this is delivered from Garmin, my units have been changed. If I go in there, we can see that now it's being displayed in hectopascals versus inches of mercury. The other thing I'll say, the reason I was saying that there's multiple ways to get into it is if you're in your barometer, you can simply press and hold the middle button on the left hand side and you'll get an options page for your altimeter barometer. You can go down to barometer options, select it, and one of the options under your barometer is also your pressure. So again, you could change it here as opposed to going through system format and then units. Again, all of those settings can be changed on your Garmin Connect app. But that is how we change it on the watch. That's a look at how we change our barometric pressure units. I hope the video helps.